Welcome back to another My League Rebuild here on NBA 2K17. In today's video, we are going to be doing the new look Houston Rockets Rebuild. Now, I did make a poll on Twitter. Um, hopefully, you guys all follow me on Twitter. If you don't, link's in the description. Make sure to go hit me up on Twitter. Um, I put up a vote uh, for whatever rebuild you guys wanted to see today. The Rockets won. The new look Rockets won. I actually was surprised if I haven't done this yet. Honestly, it kind of just slipped my mind to do. It just really never happened. But today... Going to be doing the new look Houston Rockets rebuild. Obviously, they did trade for Chris Paul. Really gave up a whole lot of their depth, but I think in the end of it, it was definitely worth it for them. So, going to have to do that. Definitely going to have to turn on trade override because there's no way that they're going to accept the trade any other way. Um, going to head up to staff signing right now. Is the Rockets coach it's Mike D'Antoni, right? I think it is, but you know what? I'm going to bring in Steve Kerr because I can. Steve Kerr, welcome to the Houston Rockets. So... Now, I do, I do have trade override on. I don't think I can actually trade for Chris Paul right now because he is on his player option, isn't he? Yep. About to become a free agent. I need to go ahead and edit his contract because he did accept his player option, so I'll be done. Give me one second. All right, so this basically was the trade that the Rockets made with the Clippers, setting Lou Williams, Patrick Beverly, Montrezl Harrell, and a first-round pick along with Sam Decker. He is on a player option right now, or team option, so I need to accept it. I'm just going to give him over to the Clippers for a second-round pick. It's fine. So Chris Paul, obviously, they're going to decline it, but welcome to the Houston Rockets, and now we are looking really, really solid for next year. Obviously, we have our front court or back court, excuse me, and Chris Paul and James Harden. I think I'm still going to run with Capella at center for at least one more year. I think I'm going to trade Eric Gordon for a better power forward because Ryan Anderson just doesn't do it for me. So now, uh, do we have a pick in the draft this year? No, we just have two seconds. Can I move these for like I don't even know? Yeah, sure, two seconds in the future, just so I can use them as trade pieces. So going to go ahead. We already have our head coach, so actually that's fine. So we're going to go ahead and. Sim all the way up to team player options because we do not have any rookies on, or we don't have any draft picks. Excuse me. Uh, so I do need to go ahead and accept Decker. And I'm, I think Will, Will, sure, whatever the hell this dude's name is, was part of the trade as well. So I'm gonna definitely going to go ahead and give them to the Clippers right now. Player going to go ahead, not Ryan Anderson, Sam Decker and Wiltshire, whatever the hell his name is, over to the Clippers for a second round pick. I'm sorry if I'm, you think I'm stealing a second round pick from the Clippers, but I don't know. I had to get the players over there somehow. So, going to turn off trade override now. We're all set with that. Qualifying, we have none. I don't even think we have any cap space. I do think Nene, uh, I know he actually got paid. And, like, I know there was, like, an over 38 rule. And No, is it Irvin? Is he actually? It's, like, over? Okay, so he, never mind. I'm trying to figure out why the contract was because he's only 34 here. But I think it's because he will be over 38 by the time the contract ends. But you know what? I think it's fine. They do get Nene back in real life. So, we are working with... Literally no money. We are in the negative already. Yes, we are. So, Anderson and... Uh, I definitely want to trade Ariza right now. He's definitely somebody that has to go. Uh, can I just get a first-round pick for him? Like, I'm trying to clear sal or enough cap space for, like, one more max for agent. So, I think Anderson and Ariza are going to have to go. Um, or just two, honestly, just two role players would not, not be terrible. Derek Favors? Not bad. Ooh, Billy Hernan Gomez and Kylo Quinn. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Unless I get a better offer, and it does not look like I am. So, Hernan Gomez and Kyle O'Quinn, welcome to the Houston Rockets. I think I'm going to actually trade O'Quinn right now because we do have Capella starting at center. Uh, O'Quinn can probably go maybe for a first-round pick. Can I get a first-round pick for him? Ooh, Rashad Vaughn isn't bad. But now, um, ooh, Scalabus here. Okay, now we're, now we're working on something. We're, we're getting proving the young... The age, what am I trying to say? Like, the young ages on this team are improving the age overall, the overall age, excuse me. So now, still way off, so Ryan Anderson has to go. I hope they trade Ryan Anderson in real life, because he is just not very good at all. Dude cannot play defense, total liability, but you know what? It's cool. I'm either going to move Lebesi or Hernan Gomez to the power forward position. I forgot to mention that. Um, so, can somebody just give me a pick for Anderson? Please, two first-round picks from the Warriors. Maybe that will help them not bring back KD or Steph, but you know what? Whatever, it's really fine. Um, trade finder, and I think I'm going to move Eric Gordon. I know he's literally a professional sixth man, but I feel like I can. I would rather use the cap space to sign maybe one more max free agent than to keep Eric Gordon. But let's see what we got for offers first. Never, never know. Maybe I'll keep him. Do, 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 do not really. Like, should I just do this and just eat the cap space? Like, I feel like I should, but mm, Moutier isn't bad as a backup point guard. Steven Adam. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I think I'm going to take Moutier and Malik Beasley. Cool. That That's fine with me, honestly. I don't know how much cap space we're going to have now because we did just absorb a lot of small contracts, but 
Personally, I think we're going to be fine for at least like an average player. Obviously, we're probably not going to get Durant or Curry, but we should be good for at least an average player. So if this game... I always forget to turn off autosave. I need to do that. Autosave, goodbye. Okay. So, right now, Durant... We actually have enough... Dude. No. No way. Nene. Okay, I just cannot sign Nene. Um... Mm, somebody's going. I think Malik Beasley's going to go because he's only a 68 overall. We just got Kevin Durant. That just happened. Somebody literally just gave me a pick. Just keep Tyson Chandler. Cool. If we actually can get Kevin Durant right now, it's so over. It's such a GG. Come on. Please tell me I have enough cast space to get him. If I don't, I'm going to go ahead and trade Moutier. But Kevin Durant is going to be on the Rockets. Obviously, he re-signed with the Warriors in real life. We can afford Kevin Durant. Look at this big three. Look at this big three. Kevin Durant and James Harden teaming up once again. They just found themselves a new point guard. So, we are looking good right now. We are looking very, very good. Uh, bird rights on literally nobody, so I'm going to have to go ahead and sign a bunch of veterans. And I'll see you guys at the start of season number one. So this is going to be the rotation for the first season. Chris Paul, James Harden, Kevin Durant, Scalabas here, and Clint Capella off the bench. Billy Hernan Gomez, Nene, Manu Moutier, Kyle Korver, that is it. This team looking very, very solid. I'm actually going to do 10 max. I do want to get some backup small forward minutes. So I uh, just need to change these takeaway minutes from Ramon Sessions. Give them a Thabo Cephalosha just to get some backup small forward minutes. So rotations looking very, very good. Team is looking very, very good. The scoring options, obviously Kevin Durant. Actually, not even obviously James Harden. And then Chris Paul. See you guys at the end of season number one. We definitely should be at least the top two seed in the Western Conference. And at the end of season number one, our very own Kevin Durant is your MVP. 26.7 rebounds, six and a half assists, two and a half steals, and two blocks. We went 72 and 10. All I'm saying, second best record in the NBA of all time. Good win. I forgot to download a fucking draft class. God damn it. 87 overall rookie 2K. Really? Okay, I'm sorry. You just, you're going to have to live with me. It's way too late for me to restart this video. You're going to have to live with not having real rookies. It's fine. Whatever. Who really cares? Nicole Vucevic, sixth man of the year. Andre Drummond, defensive player of the year. Most improved goes to Buddy Heald. Steve Kerr, coach of our 72-10 and 10 Houston Rockets, is your coach of the year. Obviously, we finished first in the Western Conference, 72-10. and 10. Not the best NBA record of all time, but pretty damn close. Standings 15 games up on the second seed of Jazz, who's re-signed Gordon Hayward, unlike real life, of course. Uh, Eric Simmons, probably, yep, fake draft. Like flair. All right, whatever. Play stats near Kevin Durant, let us in scoring, then James Harden, then Chris Paul. Clint Capella, who actually put up a pretty good year, I'd say, because out of Capella, all I was expecting was like f like six points and like eight rebounds, but 11 points I'll take. Then Hernan Gomez, then Labissier, Moutier, Nene, Corver. Uh, rebound was Hernan Gomez, Capella, Harden, and assist was Harden, Paul, Durant. Um, what did, where am I trying to go here? I'm trying to go here, and I want to go all the way to Corver, three point percentage, Corver was 45% from three. Definitely, definitely going to take that from him. First round, San Antonio Spurs. Sweep them. Swept them. Denver Nuggets. I don't know how they're a four seed. Swept them. Warriors. This is big. All right, 1-1. One, one. We're up 2-1. We did take Durant from them. Milwaukee Bucks, the Greek freak. Giannis onto the Kumpa. I'm going to go the other way. Come on. This team is very, very good. Jabari. Hopefully he can stay healthy in real life. No, no, no. We're not losing. We're, we're not losing. 2-1. 3-1. 3-2. No, no, no. We win a championship in the first year. Kevin Durant, finals MVP, obviously was a very, very helpful and large addition to this team. But we will be going on to one more year to try to repeat and go back to back. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and reject that. Uh, up to staff signing. We should have Steve Kerr. Yeah, it was a four-year deal. I, I was thinking it was a four-year deal. So... We do not have our first round pick because obviously we traded to the Clippers in the Chris Paul trade. We have a second round pick, the fourth overall pick, though. Um, what kind of trade is this? Literally, it's why is that this easy? Whatever. I'll just take two future seconds. All right. Going to skip this. Uh, not up to rookie signings. Up to team player options. Uh, yes, Lebistier and Moody are both coming back. Hopefully, I don't even know what I want to do in free agency. Obviously, we don't have enough cap or a lot of cap. Actually, we might have a little bit of cap space. We have around 20. Four million because we do have to re-sign Chris Paul, who wants to test free agency, but he's coming back. I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure he comes back. If not, I'm just gonna give him an offer. That's what I'm trying to say. Cousins is here. I'm so close on Chris Paul. Obviously, I'm gonna give max money to no trade clause because he's the whole point of this video, and we're only going on to one more year. So as much money as I can give him and a no trade clause, we are his number one offer. Paul George, I'm so close on Embiid. 
dude, if I could land Joel Embiid, this would be crazy. And holy shit, where is number one offer? Chris Paul, I'm going to wait on you, buddy. Uh, I need to make sure I give him that same offer again. But if I can get Embiid on this team, I would be crazy into the luxury tax. But this would be nuts. We are still the number one offer. Embiid, no. Why would you want to go to the fucking Nets? Don't go to the Nets, Joel. Come on. Are you serious? Why? We... I'm done. That's just so stupid. Joel Embiid, don't be a retard. Come here. Holy shit. Look at this fucking team. We have 490 plus overalls on this team. Holy hell. I couldn't get like all... It is, this is, it's over. It's over. This, this might be, is this my best team of all time? It's definitely up there. Oh, I actually have to wait on Capella. Actually, these guys can go. Isn't Capella restricted? Yeah, he's restricted. Uh, Nene and Brandon Bass can come back. I need to make sure I have enough for Aldridge. Lamarcus Aldridge welcome to the team. And now I need to offer Clint Capella a deal. I actually need to go to all positions. Clint Capella. Shit. Hopefully he just accepts his qualifying. That would be so clutch. I completely forgot about that. Is he going to accept his qualifying? No way. Holy shit. This team is so, so good. I'll see you guys at the start of season number two. We should not lose a game next year. So I'm going to go ahead and see if the Milwaukee Bucks will accept this deal, sending them Scalabissier and two first-round picks from Malcolm Brogdon. Now, obviously, we do have Hernan Gomez. We have Capella, both coming off the bench. We do not really have a good backup guard, though. So if I can get Malcolm Brogdon, I'm more than happy to give up as many picks as I want because this team is so, so good, and it's honestly crazy. I, I cannot believe. You know how many things had to go right for this team to happen, and it just worked? It just worked. This Look at this fucking team. This is insane. Actually, could I get a backup small forward for Nene? If I put up Nene and like this first and this first, which would just be clearing out all my first round picks, but I do not care. Um, come on, give me a first round pick. Actually, Tony Allen does go up at small forward. So if that's, if that's the only offer I get, yeah, Tony Allen, welcome to the team. I really don't care too much because he's coming off the bench. He's also a defensive god. So Tony Allen, where are you, buddy? Tony Allen, welcome to the Houston Rockets. And now this team is just, it's its so over. This team is just so good. I'll see you guys at the end of season number two. This team will definitely win a championship. Hopefully, this can, team can get the best record of all time. And at the end of season number two, James Harden is your MVP. 23 and a half points, seven, or pretty much eight rebounds, eight and a half assists, one steal, half a block. So, Back-to-back -back years, we do get an MVP. Uh, Michael Porter Jr., Rookie of the Year for the Celtics. Blake Griffin, Sixth Man of the Year. Andre Drummond, Defensive Player of the Year. Josh Richardson, Most Improved. And Steve Kerr, sixth, seventh, 60. 71 and 21. We go one game better than last year. Actually, no. We were 72 and 10 last year. But it's one game worse. I'm a fucking retard. I can't do math sometimes. But you know what? This seems just so much better than everybody. Oh, yeah. Now the Warriors got Joe Ingles starting at small forward. I think I'll take Kevin Durant. Uh, the real end scoring by James Harden, then Kevin Durant, then Chris Paul, then Joel Embiid, LaMarcus Aldridge, Capella, Hernan Gomez, Brogdon. This team is just too good. Just too good. Rebounds. How did Harden lead us in rebounds? Jesus Christ. Sis, so Harden led us in everything. He's an animal. All right. I'm not even worried about these playoffs. I'm not. Why could I? How could you be worried about these the playoffs with a team like this? You just like, no. Now taking on the six seed of Jazz, we're not going to lose the game. We're not going to lose the game. We didn't lose a game. 16-0 in the playoffs. James Harden, Finals MVP. This team was insane. The team was totally insane. Never had a doubt in my mind we'd win a championship or back-to-back -back championship. So we had 490-plus overalls. Actually, it's really 492-plus overalls. But team's insane. Can't say anything else about it. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this new look Rockets rebuild. Um, unfortunately, I'm still looking for a roster so I can just – or off-season roster so I can get one. Uh, so, I, like, I wouldn't have been able to sign Kevin Durant, obviously, with the new if I got an actual roster. But I'm still looking for one. At the end of the day, I might at some point just make my own if I'm really feeling it that much. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you have a good roster, leave it below. I've literally already tried professional 2Ks. I've tried literally every single roster you've commented. Don't think I didn't see your comment because I did. I've tried. They're, they're not good. So hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.